Okay, this is the Gorilla Cart Steel Utility Cart, heavy duty. We are going to put it together in the box. And we have side dismals. These down. This obviously is the handle. And the wheels which are inflated. Side our side panel. In, uh, in my kit of supplies, this uh, bolt and this uh, washer actually fell out. They were in here, and I had to hunt for them in the box, but I did find them. Uh, the nut was in a bag, and this was underneath the, uh, the bottom of the wagon, which is weird, but I found them both, so we're all set. Uh, for the most part, I will be using a, a wrench and pliers to put this together, an adjustable wrench and pliers, crescent one. And I don't think I'll need anything else. Okay, take the plastic washer, this goes on here. You have to take the plastic thing off. There's a plastic uh, protector on that. Put that on. Take the, uh, the bar with one side, goes right on like that. And then the ones that fell out, put the washer on, put the nut on, and tighten it. You don't want it too tight. Next, we'll be putting this piece on. This is the one with two holes. And we will be using these washers and bolts right here. Note that on this side, you do not need to put washers on the bottom. The washers go on top only. And of course, then your bolts go on. And if you have a socket wrench with the right size socket, you can of course use that instead of a crescent wrench. This one you do tighten until it's as tight as it can get, because it's not going to move. Okay, next I'm going to be using these two bolts here. And we're going to be putting them in the front to hold on the, uh, the handle. Okay, now we're going to put this little bar here. This goes this way with the bolt going through. The washer goes on this side. Just briefly uh, attach the nut a little bit. Just a little bit so you don't lose it. The washers do go on the bolt side, the nut side, excuse me. Okay, next we're going to be using the cotter pins and these washers to put the wheels on. Okay, put the wheel on, like so. And put the washer on. Slip the cotter pin in. Then the larger side of the cotter pin out, then the smaller side out. And we got it. Okay, what's nice about this wagon is that you can use it as a pull wagon or you can use it as something which would attach to something else. I'm going to be using it as a pull wagon. So what I will do is I'll pull this pin out. Put this through here. And then put the pin back in. There's the damn hole. There it is. And now it's ready for pulling. And the next thing it will be, of course, to attach it over there. Take the remaining bolt out of our package here. The handle goes down. So it'll be up when you're going up. So you'll put this through this way. probably makes little difference which side you have the bolt and nut on.
Okay. This goes up like this. And that's it, basically. There's a mat you can put in place if you want. Uh, I'm not going to be using that because I'm going to be using this for firewood, so I won't be using the mat. And that's it. Our wagon is done. <laughs>